Hello everyone, welcome to the Arduino practical series. In this particular session, we will study about the joystick using Arduino. So we can actually uh, simulate a joystick using Arduino. So this is the circuit diagram we'll be using. I'll explain the component. So the very first component is the Arduino Uno itself. We'll be doing this on Tinkercad. So this is what we get in the Tinkercad. Then the second component is the breadboard and then uh, we have the wiper which is actually a variable resistor. So we'll see how we can move the wiper. So one of the wiper is for the, there is a variable resistor is for the X axis, the other one is for the Y axis. Then uh, we have the light emitting diodes which will indicate where we are moving. So four, are, four LEDs are the four directions, up, down, right and left. So uh, this is what the components we have. Now I will explain the code. This declares an array X and Y of integers with 50 elements each initialized to zero. This section defines four integer variables LED underscore up, LED underscore down, LED underscore right, LED underscore left to store the pin numbers corresponding to LEDs representing different directions. This is the setup function. It's called once when the Arduino starts. Serial dot begin 9600 initializes serial communication with a baud rate of 9600 bits per second, allowing communication with the serial monitor on your computer. Pin mode configures the specified pins LED underscore up, LED underscore down, LED underscore right, LED underscore left as output pins indicating that they will be used to control LEDs. This is the loop function which runs repeatedly after setup. It initializes variables sum x and sum y to store the sum of readings from the x and y axis of the joystick. Inside of a loop, it reads analog values from pins a 0 and a 1 connected to x and y axis of the joystick, respectively, 50 times and calculates the sum of readings. This calculates the average values of the analog readings obtained from the X and Y axis of the joystick. Declares variables up, down, right and left to store the transformed values representing the joystick directions. This maps the average analog readings XM and YM to values between 0 and 100 representing the intensity or degree of joystick movement in each direction. Turns of all LEDs connected to pins, LED underscore up, LED underscore down, LED underscore right, LED underscore left. Turns on the LED corresponding to the direction with the highest reading among UP, down, right, and left. This constructs strings containing information about the average analog readings and the transformed values for joystick directions. Prints the string to the serial monitor which can be viewed on the computer. So now we are into Tinkercad. Let us design the circuit. So I'll just, cre I'll just click on create and then on the circuit. Okay. Now we are ready with the design. Let us now design the circuit.
so now after designing the circuit let us execute the code so I have already copied the code I'll just paste it here so I'll just open this code and I'll just paste this code here okay, so we get this okay, this is what we are getting now let us execute the code okay, so I'll just start the simulation okay. so one more thing here we have two wipers two potentiometers one of the potentiometer will actually uh, give the up and right up and down motion the other one right and left motion okay and based on this particular motion so these two wipers or the potentiometers they are acting like a joystick one joystick or one potentiometer for up down motion the other one for right and left motion okay so if we make a up motion then this particular LED will glow if we move on the other side this will glow and for this right and left for one side left will glow other side right will glow let us see this so I'll just start the simulation so now as we can see this is up so it is showing that is up motion is initialized so if I move this wiper on this side as you can see the down this this LED is glowing it is showing that it is more the joystick is in the down motion so if I take it again to this so up and down you can see this particular LED is this these two so this is up and down motion now suppose if I move this one so it is on the right if I take it on this side so it is sh it's showing me the left motion okay so this is what we are getting this is up and uh, right left and this is uh, up and down we can also visualize this using this uh, serial monitor so this is the serial monitor as you can see the reading on the serial monitor so suppose if I move on this side okay so this is the up motion as we can see we are getting the reading on the up is 59 something and down is 0 if I take it on the other side this side so now down becomes 60 and up becomes 0 now if I take this uh, this is uh, on this side so we are getting reading on the right if I take it on, on this side now the motion is on the left so left becomes 64 65 something so this is how we execute this particular code so that's all for this particular session thanks for watching